Welcome to episode 2 of the Cape Town Love TV and Ladles of Love COVID-19 series. I have been involved in many initiatives throughout the eight weeks with Ladles of Love. A Facebook post popped up in front of me from Grace Animal Shelter explaining how they went to an area in West Bank and they usually go there to feed the animals uh, and this is when Rebecca explained that the children were fighting over the dog food to actually feed themselves. We normally come in with 1,700 kilograms of food at a time. Um, unfortunately, when COVID lockdown began, we discovered that many of the children were starting to eat our tins of dog food. And I began with the initiative of feeding the children. And every day we cover between 350 and 1,000 people for food and we cover probably double that as far as the animals go. We targeted the children simply because we feel that no child should be hungry. They can't grab a tin opener and go to the fridge any more than the animals can. Um, and I'm being distracted by a very small puppy. This is what happens. Once we're here, um, people know we're here and they bring ill animals. Um, so it is a combination. It is actually a wonderful combination. Uh, we get a chance to educate the children. We explain to them if you're hungry, your animal is hungry too. If you're cold, your animal is cold too. I sat with one of her Mama M, Margalit, and explained to her the story. And she said, oh my word, this just landed on my desk. Elliman House have offered to donate two pots of stew twice a week. And Ladles of Love is the beneficiary. What better way to show humanity with a NGO that specifically feeds dogs and a, ho a hotel that specifically feeds seven star wine dining, you know, wealthy, wealthy, privileged people and marrying the two together. Element House, we've always had quite an involvement in the community. There was a massive need in those communities for food. So we said, okay, well, let's do something to make a difference. And we feel for people who are hungry and that's why we're doing it. And it brings all our staff together and we're actually enjoying it quite a lot and it's giving us quite a good purpose. But we've given a commitment to at least the end of the year and I can't see it actually stopping. With our recent call to action for a winter on our doorsteps and requesting the public to please donate blankets, we've had a wonderful donation from a generous person uh, who has donated over 250 blankets. Those very children that were eating the dog food are now going to be warm and dry during the winter period. So whether you're feeding animals or people, whether you're feeding the rich or the poor, this just shows the essence of Ubuntu.